There we are. Let's milk the applause this afternoon. Live from the uh, BBC Radio Lancashire Radio Theatre, the last choir singing showcase. Still three songs to hear between now and a quarter to four. And then, of course, we'll tell you what happens next. And uh, eventually we'll get a winner, of course, uh, I think towards the end of next week. And that will be performed by the finalists in the last choir singing taking place at King George's Hall in Blackburn in, uh, in June. That will be one of the songs that they'll uh, have to sing. We'll just break away from the uh, the music for a moment to chat to my next guest, uh, Daniel Postlethwaite, who's the editor of Page to Pixels. Now, uh, I think you're looking for people to get involved in this, aren't you, uh, Daniel? Just tell us a little bit about, about yourself, first of all. Yeah, OK, so my name's Daniel um, from Blackpool. Studied um, at Creative Writing in Preston at UCLan. Really good course. Uh, so since then, since graduating, uh, I've not really done much in the form of creative writing. Um, but I've been getting involved with other people, getting them to send their work to me, and I've been putting it online, trying to just get people involved, getting people writing, showcasing their work as opposed to my own. Um, so that's where Page to Pixels came from, really. And what's been the, uh, what's been the reaction of, uh, of people who want to send work to you? Um, quite a quite, uh, high reaction, really. There's a lot of people who don't really know sort of where to put the work. They want to make their own website or blog, but don't really know how they don't have the knowledge to do that. Um, so getting people to send it in to me so I can put it online, getting people then to direct back to their social media from our, uh, from our website, it's been really good, yeah. It's a bit of a, a change, that, isn't it? Because sometimes, of course, normally when you do creative writing workshops, everybody sits around and, and discusses the work, and people can get a bit nervous about that, can't they? Yeah, definitely. I found that throughout my course. Is writing, for some reason, does seem to be quite an introverted thing to do. Um, so when it comes to people sharing the work, they're quite nervous because they've worked on it for so long. It's quite personal to them. They've put a lot into it. Um, so to actually encourage people to get it out there and get some feedback on it, that's what the whole point is. Because obviously you can't grow as a writer if you don't get any feedback. It's just going to sort of stay the same all the way through. Uh, and of course you have a, uh, a meeting as well at one of the cafes in Preston, I think, Ham and Jam. Yeah, Ham and Jam Coffee. Um, they've been really nice. They let us do it for free. Um, so we go there, have a coffee, a bit of cake. <laughs> sit in the back room and it's a free workshop that Sue, who was supposed to be with me, um, she runs the Just Right workshops. Um, they're Sundays two till four. And what happens at those workshops? Can anyone come along and get advice and information? Yeah, definitely. So at first it was a bit more formal. We'd have like a task at the start and we'd all sit and do the task and then read it out in the afternoon, sort of after the break, um, and then work on it sort of in the week between and then like talk about afterwards but now it's more sort of the stuff that we've been writing in those workshops have sort of uh, made people evolve them into bigger things so now we're working on our own stuff going in and we'll just have a bit of a chat get some feedback on things we're working on personally do a little exercise if we want to work on it or not um, after that then it's sort of up to us but yeah it's just a really good sort of community thing I mean what sort of areas does creative writing encompass then it's probably a, a wide range isn't it yeah, definitely. So I didn't just uh, do just screenwriting, um, just creative writing at university. I did screenwriting as well, so that's one thing. So film and TV scripts, um, radio scripts, short fiction, long fiction, poetry, songs, which is obviously related to this, songwriting, just anything creative writing. Um, yeah, anything. Uh, and then people get together and they, they discuss what they're, what they're doing, what they like about it. Yeah, definitely. So we'll we we'll all get together. There's a mix, quite a mixture of people. There's even people who are doing photography and want to branch off into, um, into creative writing, but then there's screenwriters there who are wanting to make film scripts. There's people wanting to do children's books, um, poetry books. There's a, a spoken word poet and com stand-up comedian who's come into it. So it's just really good, like, good creative atmosphere there. Is it still very popular, you know, as a sort of a, a hobby? I think so, yeah. You get, there's quite a lot of um, communities, especially online, because there's a bit of... Uh, sort of on a minute and like it's, a, it's anonymous online isn't it so if you do put something out there and you get some negative feedback back you can kind of just hide behind that so it is a hobby but it's quite a sort of reclusive hobby um, but we want to get people talking about and doing it and being creative Sadly, you can't hide this afternoon, can you? Didn't expect <laughs> you didn't expect an audience, did you? No, I thought it was just gonna be me and you in a booth somewhere, not not a full live audience. But obviously people, and, and people listening to this who want to get involved, can they just turn up on a Sunday afternoon in Preston? Yeah, the room is quite small though, so some sort of warning beforehand so we can either get a larger venue um, 
we don't want to be flocked, obviously, <laughs> if we run out of seats. But yeah, if you uh, you can follow me on Twitter, it's uh, at page to pixels, and then obviously from there people can just sort of t- chat into us. We'll sort of discuss it, and they can join the group. We've got a group on Facebook where we can upload our work for people to give feedback as well. I mean, how important these days is social media to someone who's a creative writer? Definitely, uh, it's it's a huge thing. Social media is great for any business, but if you're an author or any sort of creative, whether you're a photographer or artist, it's there's a way of connecting to people. It's like there's a massive audience out there. Pretty much everyone's on Facebook and Twitter and things like that. So if you get your work online, um, you've got more chance of people seeing it than just if you're trying to dig away at your little area. So in Blackpool or Blackburn, you'd, it'd be hard to get your work out there maybe. Well, Daniel, for the minute, thanks very much indeed. We're live from the Radio Theatre this afternoon on BBC Radio Lancashire. It's just gone a quarter past three. Let's catch up with the latest on the county's roads. Live in the BBC Radio Lancashire Radio Theatre this afternoon, it's the last choir singing showcase, Duncan Heather singing song number four, the last one standing, written by Graham Dow. Song number five coming up very soon. Let's just go back to my uh, guest this afternoon, Dan Postlethwaite from uh, Page to Pixels. What would you like to see happen in the future for uh, Page to Pixels then? Um, just get a lot of a lot more submissions coming in. Um, at the moment it's quite a few select people from the, the Just Write Writing group we're doing. We're uploading that onto the blog. Um, but just to grow and grow basically, obviously the more content we get, the more we can push out, the more sort of useful the blog will become. Um, is it actually. just for Lancashire contributors or, or further afield? No further afield. There's um, someone called Sarah who I think she's in America. She just sends articles in through um, through Twitter. And they're not just creative writing pieces. There's like tips and advice and interviews with people that we found elsewhere. Um, and, put, and it's obviously not just creative writing. It's anything creative, so short films, photography, uh, anything like that. We're well, what's the most popular, would you say? Is it the, the writing, films, photography, is it the songwriting? Um, the, mainly the writing, I think that's as well just because that's my background as a creative writer. There's a lot of my work on there um, and most of my friends are creative writers so it's kind of, I'm trying to encourage people to submit in photography and short films um, if anything because that is the area the site's lacking at the moment. Well Dan, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Dan Postlethwaite who's the editor of Page to Pixels. If you want further information on that we'll put it all on Lancashire Action 0345 305.